Collector's items, rare or famous objects that are worth something as a result. More and more, they're digital. We've reported here on non-fungible tokens, or NFTs, where collectors pay for a unique digital object. Artists, sports teams, and everyday folks are creating and selling them. Some have sold for millions of dollars. Now, CNBC has one of our own. Our first NFT is being auctioned off for a great cause in memory of a CNBC legend. Here's CNBC's Carl Quintanilla. In 2008, the American financial system was on the brink. We were in the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. The S&P tumbled, losing more than half of its value. And on March 9th, 2009, hit 666. The next morning, minutes after the market opened, CNBC anchor Mark Haynes made the market call of a lifetime. I'm going to step out on a limb here. This I is really, the big, hold on, I, everyone. We've been I, waiting for this. I think we're at the bottom. I really do. Morning, everyone. I'm Mark Haynes. Haynes was a founding anchor of CNBC's hallmark morning show, Squawk Box, as well as Squawk on the Street. In that moment, he correctly predicted what has become known here at CNBC and beyond as the Haynes bottom. The S&P never went lower. Less than two years later, on May 24th, Mark Haynes died suddenly. That was 10 years ago today. To honor him and his legacy, CNBC is issuing our first NFT, which commemorates that historic moment. And the auction for that NFT is now live at mintable.app. You can also scan this QR code on your screen right now. The auction goes through Wednesday. Proceeds go to Autism Speaks, a charity that was near and dear to Mark, and to the, economic, to the Council for Economic Education, which focuses on financial literacy. Also worth noting, CNBC is taking steps to make sure all of our NFTs are carbon neutral. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.